What's up everyone? How are you all doing today? Guided by Jesus here bringing you a brand new Fortnite video. And today we're going for another high kill win game, guys. And you know it. For this, we land at Tilted Towers to get with some action right off the bat and try to leave here with as many kills as possible. So here we go. I did see that someone was going to land top way, so I decided to go elsewhere, guys. So I'm already trying to see didn't really see anyone landing immediately close to me so i'm going to take my time here try to get some mats try to get some loot and now i finally do spot somebody notice that he didn't have a gun so i do want to push him before he even gets the chance to grab a gun so here we go guys he did manage to get a pistol but i got to him in time taking him down Ooh, there's grenades being thrown at me right now i'm just trying to stay alive uh, I don't have any shields right now, so getting hit by one grenade would be very deadly, guys. So, did just spot someone outside. I'm going to go ahead and try to open this chest. Finally got some shields. Let me try to go ahead and fix my loadout here without getting killed. And I do get pushed, so it's time to run away here. Um, and just, this is how I like to play, guys. I like to make sure that every single engagement I have, I have the full advantage there is no reason for me to be over there challenging that guy you know head on with a shotgun fight without me being sure that i had the advantage now i noticed that this guy like he's just hiding like why did he push me but kind of run away from me at the same time so that makes me think that he might be really weak i don't want to give him the opportunity to heal since i wasn't hearing him um trying to use heals that's why i took my time a little bit but then again um, I did uh, know that he was there because I could kind of see his gun through the back of the wall And so I uh, pushed him eventually guys when I saw that he wasn't using heals and he was just hiding So that really made me think that he was weak. Also uh, One tip for you guys is I knew I had the right side uh, push or angle Oof, with another Nice headshot shotgun kill right there. That guy was uh, looking at me with a sniper. No point of me exposing myself there on that angle. So I decide to go down one floor where he might not expect me to be. Gonna toss some nades over there, see if maybe I can get a really cool kill here. Um, that one didn't land, so I know I have to aim a little bit higher so that the grenades do fall a bit earlier. That was extremely close but i did not manage to hit him so let me go ahead and try to get another angle here knowing that this guy already knows where to expect me i'm gonna go push the top of this like i said we're going for high kill so i can't take too long here with a single opponent so i start pushing up i keep it i have to keep in mind that i only have 53 mats guys so that only really lets me build five structures managed to get him there not sure why he was exposing himself so much if he was that weak gonna take the time here to take all of this loot here and um also farm a little bit tilted towers can be really hard to come across a lot of mats so every opportunity you have like a tree that you find make sure you take that down to get some mats guys because building is crucial for fighting so this guy is right here gonna go ahead and line him up that had everything to be such an easy fight. I guess he was full on shields. And um, he got lucky on hitting me with some headshots, I believe, because he melted me. Even though I put so many shots on him from the get-go. But we're going to go ahead and loot him as well. Use these bandages to heal up. So then I'm back at Grey Tower, guys. And I hear shots. So I already push. I don't want anybody to kill anybody. The best scenario here is for me to get both kills if I'm really trying to get, you know, high kill games. So I did come close there with two sniper shots and uh, I'm lighting this guy up from the back, managed to kill him and now I know I have the other guy remaining. So I'm gonna reload my weapons here and now I'm ready to push. He just, you know, underestimates me and um, there's no way he didn't hear me shooting earlier. But he underestimates things that he's going to be able to go ahead and loot up. And it just gives me a really good opportunity to take him down here. So we do manage to pick up some good loot. We leave Tilted Towers with 8 kills, guys. I do find this structure here uh, between Tilted and Salty. So I'm just going to go there, try to see if there's anyone inside hiding. Or potentially if there's any, you know, good 
weapons or anything that someone is trying to hide. Don't see anybody, so I make my way out, and now I finally do spot somebody. So we're gonna uh, quickly get in a kind of a build fight here for high ground advantage. High ground is extremely important, guys. So here we go. This guy is not bad at building himself. Um, I do have about 400 mats combined. I do have the height advantage, so I'm popping shots on him left and right. He's still trying to get the height advantage from me, but I did manage to weak him a lot. So at this moment, I don't even mind dropping down, guys, and pushing him hard to finish off the kill and not allow him to heal, guys. That's really, really important. Not allowing your opponent to heal when they're really weak is important because otherwise a fight that is on to your advantage could quickly shift to, you know, the opponent's advantage if you let them go ahead and heal again. So I do spot another player here, quickly ramp up to get height advantage on him. This helps me have full control of the fight. Now that I know that I weaken him, taking out all of his shields, and um, he tried to turtle in, I quickly push to get, you know, absolute dominance over my opponent here with the high ground. He does use uh, jetpack, guys, but, you know, he at that point, he was already way too weak, and I was able to finish him off with the shoddy. So here we go, we're making our way, you know, towards Dusty Divot now. Just looking for more kills. We're at 10 kills at this point. Still 15 other players in the uh, map, guys, besides us. We do spot a fresh structure there. So we're going to be on the lookout to see if this guy exposes himself and we'll try to pop him with a sniper shot. So, you know, we've still got to keep in mind that there could be other people anywhere around the map. So let's see. I did see his pickaxe now. Let's see if I'll finally be able to get an angle on him, and I do, oof, potato, easy kill, guys, here with the snipe. Do spot another player right here, so let's quickly build for some cover. Guys, you always want to make sure you, are, you have protection. You do not want to give your opponent, you know, an opportunity to take not even 30 HP off of you. So that's why I, I always do these head glitches, you know, uh, you know, pop, pop up and down, in and out of cover guys and just like that i managed to get a sniper headshot on him you want to be fast guys fast and unpredictable that's what we did there and we managed to pick up our kill of number 12. so still another 11 players left on the board we're gonna quickly juggernaut here using this big pot let's go ahead and try to pick up our minis again they're actually on the other side of this structure I have a pretty good loadout right now guys i'm full on hp and on shields with a pretty good loadout so i'm feeling very confident i'm going to continue pushing for more engagements so i do find this guy you know he at first was messing up his builds but then he picks it up guys and i didn't expect him to be able to take the height from me here seems like a pretty good player he's just counting my every move here and continuing to have height advantage i do manage to get above him but then he does shut down uh shot down my ramp which makes me lose the height advantage and at this moment we're just in a war here for height advantage i do notice that he not only takes high ground but i'm getting shot here from another Position. So there's no point to try to continue going to the sky here with this guy knowing that at any moment We can both be shot down. Yes, I'm going for a high kill game But I'm also you know, there's no point of having 20 kills and then losing the game So knowing that someone else could shoot us down, you know, I didn't want to continue like trying to build battle this guy and eventually die so he does turtle in here, not sure, but we're not getting shot anymore from anywhere else. So um, I'm kind of like carelessly trying to just finish this guy off. And uh, finally, we do get, you know, that other person to join in on the fight. And I actually end up getting rocked here, guys, from height, from the, from above, which I didn't expect at all might be a fourth player at this point so i do want to turtle in use my heals here at this point i only have minis i don't have any you know med kit or bandages so i'm at a really bad spot here but i'm gonna do my best here to stay calm and you know try to build my way and edit my way out of this one guys so oof i managed i saw that this guy was not gonna give up so i took here the opportunity 
to try to kill him with the shotgun, which I did. And the reason why I did that, guys, is because I had hide advantage. So I knew I had a better chance of popping a strong shot with the shotgun than he did. And then I also see an opportunity to catch this guy, you know, in a way where he didn't expect because he was, he had just dropped to the ground and I felt like he didn't really know where I was. So notice how I only play to my advantage, guys. I don't really challenge, I don't really give up height advantage unless I know for a fact that, you know, the other player doesn't know what's coming for him, etc. So here I turtle in once again. Um, another tip guys that I have for you guys is in this situation you can place a ceiling above your head but you could also place a pyramid which will give you double, you know, double the protection. Uh, didn't expect him to shoot me there but he does. So once again I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure I have covers on all sides here. Pop my minis to, to get some more you know, HP, get a bit stronger here, reload all of my weapons, pretty much resetting the fight here, uh, taking advantage that I do have height control. So this guy is not doing anything. He's like not shooting, he's not showing himself at this point. I don't even know where he's at anymore. So I'm wondering, you know, and thinking that he might be still behind those structures because that's where I got shot from. But nonetheless, you know, I'm going to pick up this rocket here, keep the tactical sh uh, shotgun. I feel like rockets are really OP, guys, for in-game, and especially if you have height advantage. So I'm just going to try to backboard some rockets here um, using those trees. But it really doesn't seem like this guy is here anymore. And I don't want to continue wasting time because that's only going to allow other opponents to die off to each other. And so I'm just going to choose here to, you know, run the other way. If this guy just wants to hide, that's fine. Let him hide. I'll run the other way here to try to look for some other kills so that we can increase our score. At this point, um, we're looking really good with 14 kills, guys. There's five people remaining. And um, our highest kill game is 19. So we're really trying to beat that, guys. And I really want to bring you guys more and more of these videos with high kills. So we do finally find this guy. This is the guy that we were fighting earlier, I believe. It looks like the same skin, at least. And uh, we do manage to hit him strong, but we didn't really finish him off. And I do see that another guy joins in on the fight. So I have to be a little careful here. I'm gonna try to block him off here with some builds, hit him with a strong 119 damage shot, but he also hits me. Um, and so I have to be careful here and try to use these minis before this other guy gets a chance of killing me. So um, he does know where I am at this point. He managed to, you know, shoot me down. This one mini uh, made it so that I was in one shot and it was just enough guys to keep me alive. Had I, you know, not used that mini, I would have probably died there to that shot that he managed to hit me with. So here we go, I'm gonna try to backboard him now with this rocket. Notice I didn't just simply go forward there and expose myself, I went to the side, kind of a strafe behind cover, because if he was waiting for me to expose myself and you know to shoot me with the AR, one headshot would have killed me. So I knew that I had to somewhat move, even though I was inside that one by one, I didn't want to expose myself in a position where he expected me to be, be in already. I found some bandages here at this uh, care package, so I'm gonna turtle in right here, use these bandages real quick to get to at least 100 HP, guys. So this really helps me out um, in having you know more confidence and being at a better position for the end game. We're in the top three situation here. At this point, I have no idea where my opponents are. And I do find one right now. I'm gonna take a snipe shot at him, hit him on the body and finish them off with a nice headshot here with the first AR. And now we're just, you know, trying to figure out whether this other opponent is. I see that the storm covered all of the, the house and no one ran out of that. So at this point, I'm thinking this guy must be inside this hut. And there he is, guys. Um, doesn't seem like a bad player because as soon as I took down the roof, he quickly built a ceiling. So, uh, I mean, you know, I'm not very scared at opponents that just hide like this, but at the same time, he must not be the worst since he does know how to build. I do place a really nice trap there 
dealing a lot of damage to this guy so at this point i know that he's pretty weak but i myself am at 100 hp only guys which honestly if he hits me with a rocket or a, a sniper shot etc i could die so i'm not going to give up my height advantage here and i'm just trying to play pretty smart especially because we already have 17 kills guys like how unfortunate would it be to die to this guy you know and lose an 18 kill game so we're just gonna keep on firing rockets here from the sky almost like uh fire rain guys on this guy and uh we do manage to take down most of his structures i do hit him once again with that rocket based on the noise that it makes you can tell if you hit your enemy or not and um he's gonna just keep building roof above his head and at this point i want to save my rocket ammo because i only have two left and so you know i know that you know i shouldn't be wasting my rocket ammo on this guy i want to you know try to save it just in case things do go south but i know i'm at a really good position because i'm in the safe zone he is in you know in low advantage low height advantage and i'm still in the next safe zone up here so i take my time and either he ran out of mat guys or i don't know he was trying to edit wasn't quick enough and we managed to take that victory royale guys i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like if you did it really does help out the channel share your comments down below i do my very best to read and answer every single one of them and don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications to not miss a single upload